Question 11 is on derivatives. And since it's in the electronic part, you will have MCQs. That is, four options will be given to you to select the correct answer. In such cases, all the derivatives can be solved in a calculator method. It's so easy. So let's take our calculators out. It's better to clear your calculator now and then. Clearing is by shift 9, 3 equal an AC. It'll be set to default mode. Now what you need to do is see the options now let's take these answers as the options over here and you need to assume certain value let's assume say i'll write over here x is equal to 1.5 you can even assume x as 1 2 anything but it's better to avoid one not in these questions over here you will get the answer correctly but there are very rare scenarios where if you consider x as 1 you may not get the correct answer with the shortcut method I generally go with 1.5 because the calculator will do the calculation. You don't have to do anything, right? Now, for the first problem, what I'll do is I'll take two x values just to show that, uh, you know, for any value, it'll work. I'll take this as 2.5 then. So now what do you have to do? All you need to do is see the given equation is there, right? It needs to be derived. Do you have derivation in this calculator? Yes. By shift and this symbol over here, integral symbol, you get dy by dx. That means you're deriving it. Okay, let's derive. But before that, let's type the equation as it is with the brackets. 4x plus 3, close the bracket, and open the bracket again. x squared plus 9, close the bracket. Now, at what x value do you want to derive it? I've assumed one value of 1.5, so let me take it and now write this answer. I will write the answer over here as 72. For x is equal to 1.5, the derived value is 72 from the given question. Now let's do it for 2.5 as well. Only thing is I have to change it over here. You can do other values as well. It's 126. So all I do is this will be 126. In your exam, don't do two values. Just take one value. Just for your understanding now, I'm going to take two values and show it. Now then, what next? Here, the first step was deriving the given equation at any two x values that's it now you have four options right you need to solve all the four options in the calculator just type it this is the derived one x squared plus 6x plus 36 now calculate this don't derive it it's already derived f dash so when we derive the above equation we get this answers at this particular x. So now if you just put the x value at 1.5, 2.5, the answers must match. Now let's calculate this at what? 1.5. The answer is 72 and it matches. Or oh, let me change it to 2.5. Absolutely, it should match. This is the correct answer. Whereas the other answers will not match the same one. Only one option will match you know so you can easily eliminate now imagine you put the first option it's not matching for 1.5 it doesn't come 72 then go to the next option if it matches that's the answer if it doesn't match go to the next one only one will match and it will work no matter what if you follow the proper steps now let's do over here just to show you here let me type this equation it's negative 45 and over here type x to the power 4 plus 60x cubed and this is cubed and then we have negative 12x 12x over here and lastly plus 10 now calculated at 1.5 the answer is negative 33.3125 so negative 33.3125 this is at x is equal to 1.5 now, if this was the option for this answer, you should ignore this option. But now, when will you get 33.3125? When we derive this at x is equal to 1.5, let's do it now. dy by dx, let me derive it. 3x to the power 4 plus 2x over here, plus 2x. Then what we need to do is 5 minus 3x. And close the bracket now what is the x value you need to derive it at 1.5 and the answer is 330 minus 33.3125 it will match so this is how easily you can do any derivative problem in calculator 
Now in the writing part, we have discussed the formulas and rules. We have to follow that in the writing part. If you want to know the exact way to derive this, you have to just multiply, do the FOIL method and then derive it. You can please check the part two problems. That is the writing part where everything is already explained. So now this value saves a lot of time. But in the exam, don't start with the options. Start with the given question. Derive the given question first and write it aside. And then start with the options. Whenever an option matches, that's your answer. So don't go to do all the options and then check with the question. No, do the question first and then check the options. Whenever it matches, you can stop. If your answer is the fourth option, then you will have to go until fourth. Otherwise, you might get the answer very early. Even over here is the same thing. Just that remember it is x over here to the power. You can write 0 0.5 or 1 by 2. That is over here. And this be careful in typing. Write it as it is and solve it up. All things in the calculator. Even over here everything can be solved. Please do try it by yourselves and then check the answers. Same thing here. Now here the variable is r. We don't have x. That's fine. Over here it's a. That's fine, you know, you need to derive with respect to A, that's it. Even over here, straightforward problems. Now, a real world problem. A pitch is struck by a bat with a mass of M kilograms. Suppose the initial speed of the ball after being struck is given over here. Okay. Find the equation of the instantaneous rate of change of the initial speed of the ball. The same question is explained in detail in the question number 18. It's in the writing part. So you can go over there and see the detailed explanation. Now all you need to do is over here, derive it. Instantaneous rate of change would be derivation of this. So how would you derive? Derivation is by the quotient rule or you can check it by just your calculator method. Assume m value that is 1.5, substitute over here, derive it and substitute x as 1.5 and then put over here m as 1.5, you can get the answer. I'll show it to you over here. You need to press shift and this integral symbol for derivation. Then you can do it 185, sorry, 185. M is the X variable over here, minus 15. Now the derivation in calculator can be only definite in the sense you need to have a value. So value of X, so assume it to be 1.5 and then solve it up 15.7024. Now here, all the options needs to be solved, 42.75 divided by x. Now you open the brackets because we have to square it up, plus 0 point, sorry, 0 0.15, close the bracket and square it up. And now calculate it at what? 1.5, the answer is 15.7024, the same answer we got. So this is how we can check that's the correct answer. Now here using graphing calculator, we need to graph it up. Even if you don't have a graphing calculator, you can do it in the calculator. The option is mode and seven, the table method, type the equation and you can graph it. Only for zero to two seconds. And you can see what happens is it decreases. And over here, the comparing, see these questions will may not come for your MCQ part, but it's there in the written part. Please go there and understand what this means. Here we were checking what happens as the mass increases, right? See, when the mass increases, the speed, the instantaneous rate of change is, uh, you know, red reduced. So the lower the mass, the better for the baseball bat, you know, so to hit the ball easily, it's better, the mass is less. So here, basically, you're just comparing it. But this first one might be very uh, useful because this might be asked in the exam. Yeah, this is all reasoning type. Even these problems directly in calculator. Let me do one of the problem here. First thing is shift and integral symbol and we need to derive it. Doesn't matter how big the equation is. As long as you follow the steps, you will get the correct answer. Now it's squared, 2x squared and then we have plus 3 and divided by x cubed over here minus 2. Now at what x value do you want to solve this? We generally take 1.5, so take that and remember this answer. It's negative 30.66. Now let's see the answers, all the options and, you know, substitute x value over there. So let's just write this at x is equal to 1.5. In the exam, please write this always. It's negative 30.6694. Now 
this must be put in the calculator directly not with d by dx it's already derived that's why take it directly power 6 minus 2x to the power 4 minus 8x cubed and then we have negative 9x squared and lastly we have minus 8x and close the bracket over here again variable x cubed minus 2 the whole square open the bracket and close the bracket and square it up now what value you want to calculate this at 1.5 the answer is okay now it's not matching why because i'm sure that i've done some mistake over here in the exam guys please double check the values now let's go over here and check the values over here this is correct this is correct this is also correct minus x squared minus 8x and this is over here plus now it's i've written as plus it should be minus and the answer over here matches okay it's good that i did the mistake i'm not going to edit it out so you can see if you are if you have taken one small error you will never get the answer so in your exam you will have four options and you'll be trying all the four options but still it's not matching don't think this method is wrong make sure you substitute it properly so once you substitute in the derivative double check all the values and only then you will get the correct answer it matches so this is the correct answer and all the other options would be wrong i know it's a bit lengthy you need to substitute but in your physical calculator you can do it quickly and once you have a hang of it you can do it very easily as well so all these are the answers please try them by yourselves or you can use the quotient tool as well but it will the calculator method will be more quicker than the quotient tool even over here okay so over here also is the same thing you can see instead of quotient rule you can try simplifying no but this is the uh, quotient rule is the best method over here because all the other methods will take longer you know for year also it's better to use uh you know like if you're doing the actual method w by w squared plus w4 by w squared now simplify this will be 1 by w plus w squared you can use 1 by x formula it will be minus 1 by x squared and then it will be over here 2x and then you can take the common term it will be x squared because it's not there right what you do is it will be x squared i've written as x it's supposed to be w now this will be minus 1 and over here you need to multiply this x squared right it will be plus 2x squared uh, x cubed sorry squared multiplied by x so you can write it as 2x cubed minus 1 by x squared so you get the same answer this is this sort of method like uh, splitting it out solving it and then taking the common term uh, lcm sorry otherwise you can use product rule and directly get the answer as well but among all the calculator method without anything you can easily solve it that's the end of this question i hope you have found the calculator method helpful please be careful when you're substituting double check your values after substitution and follow the steps accordingly and you'll definitely get the answer using the shortcut method